In West Sussex, Matt is with Animal Welfare Officer Steve Wickham on the case of a trapped deer. We've just had a call from a member of the public. There's a stag with his antlers trapped in the barbed wire fence. Deer are very highly strung and get stressed very, very easily. So um, anyone going near it until we're ready to deal with it is either in danger of getting injured themselves or giving the deer a heart attack. Do's and don'ts is don't get too close to the hind legs because they will kick out and they can really do a huge amount of damage with their hind legs. At this time of year, deer often like to scrape velvet off their antlers in preparation for the rutting season. However, sometimes this can result in all sorts of detritus getting stuck to their antlers, causing them a massive amount of distress. How long do you think he's, he's been there like that for? Um, there's no telling because not, as far as I can make out, not many people come down here, but um, it could be days, it could be weeks, but I'd say days looking how strong and, and resilient he's he is. He's really mobile, isn't he? Um, any chance of some assistance, please? It's the RSPCA. So, uh, Steve, what's the situation now? The situation is we've got, um, I've just contacted East Sussex Fire and Rescue. Um, won't be able to do that deer safely with just myself. So why, why can't we tranquilise a deer? What's the problem? Trouble with tranquilising a deer, there's a couple of problems. Invariably, they'll die from stress and that. The other trouble is if we tranquilise it and then release it out into the woods and then someone shoots it and eats it, they'll be tranquilised as well. Right, OK, and that's the last thing. Yeah. Yeah. One. The firemen arrive on the scene yeah. and they decide on the best way to handle the deer without causing it further stress or injury. Deer antlers are extremely sharp and can easily pierce human skin. So the firemen pile on the padding before going in to pounce on the deer. Over the top of it, over its head, yeah, and hold it down. And don't be scared of getting hold of it and holding it. Push it, push it right down. We'll be holding it a lot. I'm going to let go of it. Weight on it. You yeah. can put two and you can... If you don't put all your weight on it, it will get up and still buck yeah, with yeah, you both yeah. on it. These guys are the large animal rescue unit and they're a dedicated team specifically set up to deal with problems of this nature. Usually it's kind of rural animals, so your cows and your horses, but occasionally they come across wild animals like deers as well. Watch how far I can move, Jack. He can get right to that edge there, right where they are now. The deer is petrified and fearing for its life. What it doesn't realise is that we're trying to help it, not harm it. Blanket over the eyes. Red blanket. Right, yep, there we go. Good on, guys. Just put your weight on there. Just watch these spikes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got my hand on one there, just what? so it doesn't go into anyone's eyes. Because they finally didn't manage Down to stag out of the ground. Now they're tentatively just trying to cut off any of the netting and wire that's just trapped it. So they still panic, but they cut his arms to stop them from seeing what's going on. That's it, and again, one more, one more. Just cover more bigger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good mate, you're on it. Everyone all right? Yeah. Everyone all fine? Carry on. You just have them standing by. Yep, got them standing. Oh, oh. Everyone all right, all right, all right on him. Yeah, this bit here. Makes sense, wouldn't it, actually? Yeah, it's all right. It's kind of that. Just about off. That should be it. Yeah, When we go, we're going to go this way. This way, roll this way over and out. Are you ready to move? Yeah, we've got clear action on yeah. it. Yes. So uh, roll them, you can just roll away if need be. Yeah. 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 Ready? One, two, three. Well done. Good. Well done, mate. Well done there. It's another successful rescue for East Sussex Fire Brigade. Alex well, McGee nice explains nice. how it's all in a day's work for his team. Well, once it was immobile, it was it was relatively straightforward. Although it's you know with a big with a big ball of uh, of knitting there, it's just it was just a question of picking away and, and cutting you know until the thing was uh, until the beast was uh, released. There was one one or two occasions where he started to struggle. We quickly 
uh, repositioned ourselves and uh, not a problem really. Fire Brigade have packed up and gone. And what does it mean to you that moment when you saw it just get up and bound off into the forest? It was really nice to see him actually run off and without any injuries. Great, so a job well done? Yeah, it was really well done and everyone's in one piece, which is the main thing. Well done, Steve. Fantastic work.